when I heard Ru heard Russell's cr crow story, um, I thought, oh, this, this might be a, a good opportunity to sort of improve on my old my sculpture and try again and make make some crows. And um, so I did them very much in the style of, of the raven I made in my exhibition, but um, just converted them to stainless steel. What I really liked about crows and this kind of birds especially is just the character they have and um, you know, all you need is a subtle twist in the neck to give it a different, a different um, personality or a different, a different. They're just an interesting creature and fun, fun to, fun to make. So the, the raven I made was just out of galvanized wire, and it had a, its own difficulty that I had to straighten it all before using it. So it was hours and hours of just straightening lengths of, of wire. Um, but this was a, the stainless steel rods was. Um, a thicker diameter so I had to do less pieces to cover the same shape but it was harder to bend by hand I had to sort of jam it in a between a vice or in a, in a small hole so I could bend, bend it with pliers stainless steel just welds really beautifully and I learned to the, the raven I built with a, a stick welder which leaves a lot of flux mm -hmm. deposits so you have to chip away and I learned from that with such a fiddly piece I should use a different type of welder so I used a, a TIG welder or a tungsten inert gas welder just because it lets me do the fiddly bits without leaving flux everywhere that I have to chip out later. So I learned from the last one. The the one I made first, I made a, just because I make a sort of central framework first and then build from the back forward, overlapping up to the head. And where I did the head, I'd sort of built it just sort of too close to my original framework and so the beak stuck out just a little too far and that little difference just makes it look like a different type of bird like it makes it look like a seagull or something else and so I didn't really like the look of it I was nearly going to leave it but the perfectionist and me took over and I, so I just ground, cut the, his head off and started again <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the way they're turning out they're all slightly different because I, I don't really like I have my original drawings but when I'm out in the shed, I'm not looking at them, so they all come out slightly varied. They're slightly different sizes, and um, you know, even now, as working on them, I find easier ways to do the things. So the next one's slightly different, but um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. And because they're similar to my own design, I, I feel I have greater ownership for them.